Well, and this is one of the tracks that we've actually had testing back um, in December when this car was kind of being rolled out. This is a track really because of its location right here in Charlotte. Most of the teams based in Charlotte where a lot of teams have some history here. There have been a few tweaks to the rules when it comes to some shock lengths as well. But the concept of this car on this track has been run at least a little bit. So we'll see if that affects practice uh, and affects who we think is going to be pretty good. Yeah, Ricky talked about changes to the cars and uh, all those types of things, but I think that this is one of the most challenging racetracks for a driver. I think Darlington is the hardest racetrack, and this is the second most difficult racetrack. And the reason why is because the visibility, uh, it's tight corners, a lot of elevation change, very low grip in this part of the racetrack, and you're being pushed as a driver every corner. And you have to push the limits of the car, Steve, if you're going to make lap time at all. You cannot just ride around. you got to be aggressive and push this race car. But you're doing it in places where you can't see where he's approaching right now. When he makes this right, he can't even see the next one. Look how much he's sliding around already. That's why this racetrack is so difficult. And it's compromised for the driver and the crew chief because now when we watch Kyle Larson here leave the infield section, he's going to come to the very recognizable part of Charlotte Motor Speedway. He's in turns one and two on the high banks. He's going to go down the back straightaway into this back stretch chicane. So you have to have a setup that has grip in the slow infield section yet keeps the car off the racetrack when it's heavily loaded in the banking. Let me throw one more variable at you. Obviously the car, the track, but these 12 drivers on the left side of the screen, it's a cutoff race. This is an elimination race. Four people will have their championship hopes dashed after this race on Sunday. It's pretty clear uh, the way I see it. Christopher Bell comes in. Oh, oh missed it big time. There you had it. That he has to stop, you know, in the race. You got to stop and serve the penalty if you miss that. But again, he hasn't made a full lap without a couple mistakes already. We saw him sliding around in the inner part of the racetrack and then approaching this corner. Watch. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the rear tires lock up. I'm sorry, this is the sliding from earlier. Yeah, it looks like the paint, maybe. I mean, he's out there on purpose. You see other tire tracks, but I. I don't know if the car was just loose or if the paint had less grip. And then right here, we see the front tires lock up, then the backs start to lock up. <laughs> uh, just overall too much pace into that corner, it appears. 